Hey, uh, hard to believe, but it's been a year since this crime really had everybody in our area talking. Five people murdered at a home in Sampson County. And right now we know there are two men who are connected to that crime facing federal charges. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live in downtown Raleigh with an update from county and federal leaders. Yeah, that's right. We did hear from U.S. Attorney uh, Michael Easley as well as the Sampson County Sheriff Jimmy Thornton, who been, both really mentioned that this is one of the worst attacks that they've seen in Sampson County. And both say this comes after 12 long months of really working within the community. And they say now they have two men that are facing some federal charges. Now, also, this comes after a U.S. federal grand jury did charge 31-year-old Robert Williams, who also went by the name of Double Tap, Drew, and T.T as well as 35-year-old Derek George, who also went by the name of Pete. Both are facing charges, including robbery and distribution charges, and that also included crack and cocaine. And a third person in the indictment is also charged with illegal gun possession, but they are not facing charges related to those murders. And we told you this case in Sampson County goes back to when the sheriff's uh, office did respond to this home off of Garland Highway last October, just before 1 a.m., after a 911 caller discovered the five people shot and killed inside. And then mentioned this was a targeted shooting with the victims ranging in different ages and ethnicities. The U.S. Attorney and the Sampson County Sheriff tell us this was a combined effort with multiple partners, resources, and agencies that came together. This case was helped along by tips from concerned citizens who shared what they knew and what they saw. And it is only by community members who are willing to raise their hand and step forward that we will end patterns of violence in this country. And because this is still in the indictment stage, Easley says they were limited in what they could share about this investigation, including specific details about the evidence. Again, they say this is an ongoing investigation. We're still going through all the information and plan to give you a larger update this afternoon. Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. All right, Mariah, thank you so much for that update.